Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm doing this intro live on Twitch and it's very bad, but still, in our previous video, we got ourselves a 99 strength. In this video, we're looking forward to doing some Cerberus, perhaps getting a Kraken Tentacle, maybe dive into the God Wars a little bit, we'll see. But most importantly, we should be getting a lot of gains in, so I'm really looking forward for that. Wait, wait, is this the one? No, I have two of these. I need the other one. Damn it. I need the other one to make a combat bracelet because right now I have Kramja gloves and that is not good. Here we go. Good luck. Us for 92 Slayer. Hey, what is my luck? Let's go. That's huge. Another whip and only six left to go. So now I will not feel bad putting a tent whip, I mean a tentacle onto the whip because I always have an extra. That is just perfect timing. So now I can go straight into Serb. If I feel like it, I can go straight into Kraken. I can do whatever I want, but I think Cerberus first. All right, it is time, ladies and gentlemen, to take a task of Hellhounds. Let's have some fun. Oh, defeat a boss for the first time, 100 points. If I'm able, oh, and defeat Cerberus is 250. If I'm able to consistently kill it before he brings the little things out, that would be sick. And if I do a misclick, 90 attack though, that, that's kind of cool here. By not even using a prayer <laughs> Oof, okay. Pagasian is not that bad. 8kc Pagasian though, we'll take it. It's pretty good, honestly. I'm not gonna complain, it's solid. Because I will hopefully get Ranger Boots at some point, And that's gonna be good. So I'm very happy, nice. No, 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 not this. Not this. Not two. One is okay, but not two. Oh no. It begins, dude, it begins. Ah, shit. Defeat Cerberus before she summons souls. 250 points. Yo, 91 attack, let's go. Ooh. 93 Slayer already. I must be getting quite decent Slay XP here as well. It seems like we are getting approximately... Well, it's not that good, actually. 600k in the last hour. <gasps> no! Why this one? Why not the red color? So, people might be wondering how I'm gonna go about my crafting training, and for the time being, I'll do it through silver ores and making tiaras. It's probably not the best method, but I honestly cannot be asked doing charters and hopping for one, uh, like hopping every world to get some molten glass. I'm not about that, like, I can't be asked. But once I have the glory, I could do gems instead. We'll see, I might also mine the full, so mining silver and gold, so I can make the other jewelry, jewelry from the other uncuts, that's also a possibility. But I think mainly doing silver like that, because you see, I already have 180 and I've only been here for maybe like a couple of minutes. Because uh, every time I mine this, boom, two silver bars already in the bank, I don't need to do anything in between that, and then I just go straight to the furnace and make full inventory of tiaras. It's, I think, the solid way, and the reason why I'm training it right now is because I really want to get combat bracelet, or I want to be ready to get a combat bracelet. Also, the XP rates are pretty solid of just making tiaras. 840 XP drops, you're missing 100k, you just get like 120 of it, and it's pretty good. 69, if I can get one more, that means we can then create ourselves a power amulet, which is gonna be my best in slot for range for a while, but also if I can get to 72, I think that's the combat bracelet requirement. I also changed locations, Falador is closer to a furnace than the lumber ridges, so we're doing it here. If you're an eternal jeweler like I am, uh, this is probably your best way to go about it. And 70 crafting. Whoa, we can now make a power amulet, so when I'm ranging, which, you know, I don't know when I'll be ranging, to be honest. I'll probably want to chin it, I guess, or maybe I'll AFK crabs. Uh, but yeah, when we do that, I can make a power amulet, which I'll do when I run out of tiaras. That is very solid XP drops, actually. Obviously, diamonds could be used to create something like a, like a diamond bolt, right? But I think at this point in the game, I'd much rather utilize it in order to get some really good crafting XP. Later on in the game, when we get a bunch of these, I might consider, obviously, um, saving them. But for now, I'll just make every amulet I can with every gold bar that I have. But first, we have a ball of wool that I can attach. I should really only do this on one, right? I, yeah, it doesn't really give me XP or anything, or very little. And we enchant it, and that is a power amulet. I was really hoping that would be a task, because that took me quite a little bit of time to do. 
Oh, that's 74. That is combat bracelet when we do finally get ourselves a, uh, well, dragonstone. For now, let's, I think, return to Cerberus. We have unfinished business there. There we go. 95 attack. Four more levels to go. We are back on the Cerberus. Hey, attack level. Nice. Three to go. Yes! 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 We're done! Nice! That's the last drop I needed from here. Nothing else is required. I cannot... Uh, well, I have Primordial, I have Eternal, and now I have Primordial... Wait, I meant the Pegasian. Anyways, we got it! Yes! I am so happy right now. Alright, well, we've been waiting for this moment. We got ourselves the D-Boots, we got the Primordial Crystal. Let's combine it together to create... Holy shit, wait, 3k XP in magic and runecrafting, and there they are, primordial boots. And that is 250 points task, well deserved I'd say. Um, okay, so it's a combined task, so I don't even need to get any of the others. This one was 250 and there's no other tasks about it. Perfect, now my next upgrades would basically be Bando's chestplate, Bando's um, tacits. And that's it. <laughs> and, oh yeah, and gloves. Um, and don't, don't worry about the gloves. We'll get the we'll get the dragonstone at some point. But what I think I'll do right now is I'll return to Barrows. I feel lucky, and I think Barrows is gonna give me something nice. We start at Casey number eighteen. Number two. Yeah. Ooh, uh, yeah, um. It's okay. It's good actually. It's actually good. It's solid, I think, uh, because I have the Gothen <laughs> legs already. So now the Gothen body. It's a, it's a solid tank bot, it's nothing special, I already had it, but if we were to somehow pull full Gothans, I could probably find some uses for that, so that's solid. Another chest. Oh, I wanted that. Karyl Skirt. Now we have Karyl Top, Karyl Skirt. That's my range gear sorted. That is extremely, extremely good. So now the only thing missing is a tank legs, and I have every single drop from battles that I could ever ask for. I would really love Varak's skirt for the prayer bonus as well, but any tank leg and we're balling. Another one back to back and wow, okay, back to back Varak Brassard. This can potentially be useful, but only in a situation where we get full Varak's. And there we go, 97 attack, only two more levels to go until we start training defense. Ooh. Well, that's one thing that we're probably never gonna complete. Alright, most likely my last chest for a little bit because I'm bored of Barrows and we get nothing. So, three item, very nice. The most important one out of this is Karil's Leather Skirt because it is straight up upgrade for a green uh, legs, which was my previous best in slot. So, <laughs> this is very good, very, very good, very happy with that, honestly. And now, what I will do is I will go kill some Kraken, because I want a tentacle, and some magic levels would be pretty solid to get as well. 100 points for just defeating a Kraken. Oh, I just accidentally reached my prayer bonus of 30. I'm just banking over here, and I just put Sarastol on, and that's it. Another thing that I forgot is I should have really imbued my Slayer Helm or gotten my Slayer Helm before I did Kraken. So it is what it is. I'm gonna tank through it. It's pretty bad, but I'll still do it. And here is the very first drop, the Uncharged Trident. If I wield it, that is a task, 100 points. And obviously I will still be taking these tasks until the point where I get a tent whip, which I could maybe kill a boss with this now. I have full Carol, so perhaps doing boss is a solid option. Well, that's the second one. Still no sign of a tent. Well, and that would be a back-to-back -back trident more or less. So what, we got, uh, yeah. <laughs> And the magic level in between. Right, these are pretty useless. I don't know what to do with those. Well, I'm tired of this going so slowly. It's <laughs> it's time to start using Trident. So I'm just gonna charge this bad boy up with full charges. Alright, well, the task is done. I ended up getting another extra Trident. So now we got, I think, three in total. One, two, three. There it is. So three Tridents. Fourth one is wearing. There we go. The task to complete 50 has been done. And we also have 465 points. You guys know what that means, right? This on that, to create a Slayer Helmet for 50 points. And now I'm interested, can I actually add these Twisted Horns to it? <gasps> I can! For free! Okay! 
Yes, that is sick. That is sick. I too watch solo mission videos, so if I speak to this man, I can give him 1,250,000 gold for an absolute scam to then get points to then come in here and buy a twisted slayer helmet in view. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Yes, now it actually works with mage and range and all shebang. So uh, I can now go ahead and grab another Kraken task and I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to have a nice 25 hour sleep and then I'm going to go ahead and kill more Kraken. Where is it? Yo, huh, I just woke up. Yes. Yes. There we go. Kraken tentacle. That is so huge. I can now freely use my whip when I PVM. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel the Kraken task. I've got my trident. I've got my tent. Absolutely zero reason for me to keep doing this. They suck. <laughs> but uh, yo, we got it. Very, very nice. So yeah, I don't know if this was the best method or if the boss was the best method. Either way, we are free. My U tree is a healthy one, meaning that I can finally do um Darok hard after I get enough kudos, that is. But that is very nice. Farming is coming together. Uh, I finally have enough trees to also do a full run every day, more or less. It all comes from birdhouses. I also got 83 hunter from just birdhouses, meaning that I can also catch a dragon implink. So there's a lot of things. If I were going for tasks, I could actually complete. But for now, I'm not focused on it. Perhaps in the future, when we like really focus on getting those, those uh, leak points up. But for now, we are totally happy with how things are going. And I am totally ready. To get my hard Varrock tasks done. You just click on the tree stump. You get two U roots. And that is a task. Uh, check a grown papaya tree in the gnome stronghold. Done. Right. So I was thinking what I was going to do while editing the video. Because originally I wanted to kill Kraken boss. And edit the video because it's a very AFK thing to do. However, what I can also do is kill some wyverns. Because the wyverns are very good. They drop you... Three Renar seeds quite commonly. They drop Dragon Plate Skirts and Plate Legs, which are a task. Granite Legs, which is also a task. And most importantly, a Draconic Visage. So, if I were to get the Visi, I already have the Smithing level and I could just make it. Uh, and I forgot the most important thing, which is to actually take a task. So, yeah, I'm gonna take a task of these. I don't know why I didn't think of that early. <laughs> well, we're just gonna go again. But basically, I'm gonna camp there while I'm editing. Maybe every single day. If I do 100 kills a day, I will have a visage in a week. Have you ever killed a skeletal wyvern in literally 3 seconds? This shit, that's, that's crazy. Uh, I'm also gonna do them up here actually, because they're like more together. Look at this. I'm not even potted, by the way. Because I don't think I want to waste potions on this. Basically, I hate every time. It's, it's insane. There it is. The good old dragon plate legs. Let's make sure we pick them up and wear them. Because that's a task. And then after that, they are basically an alk. And this one. This is basically what I didn't even mention. The Dragonstone. That is a combat bracelet that we just got for free. Wow, I didn't actually know that was on the... I think that's my Ring of Wealth. I don't think that's on the Wyvern drop rate. I think that is Ring of Wealth rare drop table. Honestly, I don't know. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think that is a rare drop table that you get. I'm still gonna finish this task because I'm in the mid of an editing session. And, dude, that's crazy. That's our combat bracelet sorted. Sick. That is the inventory from one trip at Wyverns. And obviously, I need to bring Alks for the next trip. But uh, the way I do it is I either pray ultimate strength and then my prayer goes up and then when my prayer is up I pray piety and my prayer goes slowly down I think my prayer would maybe be able to maintain being up if I had something like a Verax skirt but either even then like the kills are so fast I love it here we go this one is important man this dragon bracelet dragonstone bracelet and then enchanting it giving us a combat bracelet we're going from basically no bonuses right Plus one bonuses on the Karamja gloves into plus seven. Uh, so, and plus six melee strength. So this is going to be very, very good compared to what we have. Also, I'm going to need to look into completing heroes and legends quests at some point so I can enchant it 
And then I have unlimited teleports basically to quite some useful locations. For example, Ranging Guild. Well, legs number two. I might collect these just because they're like a really cool item. So I might just stash them and see how many I get in total in my bank. Would be lovely. And there it is, 98 attack. And not only are these amazing for money, amazing for seeds, decent for prayer potions. On top of that, right, they also drop me magic logs, which means I do not need to chop these once I finally reach 80 crafting, which is going to be very soon after I'm done with wyverns, because I obviously want to push for a glory as well. So not only that, they will also provide me with basically unlimited birdhouse runs, so, wow, what a spot to AFK at. Very happy I decided to AFK this spot. It's great, honestly. Look, XP an hour obviously isn't as good as something like Necreals, for example, or whatever, but I get also Adamant Bolts, Rune Bolts. I'll be able to make those into Rubies, Diamonds for Inferno. Dude, this is sick, honestly. I think this might be the last thing that I can get as a point task from Wyverns. However, I also got like three prayer levels nearly. Uh, and when I get 75, that would be like another point task. Uh, but, uh, oh yeah, oh, I almost algged them. <laughs> there we go, we gotta wear them. Uh, and that's a 50 pointer right there. And now we can alk them because they're useless. Uh, but yeah, perfect. Um, I think I got a prayer level if I bury two more bones. I've been editing for a little bit over an hour and it's coming together very nicely. But here it is, another 99 on the account. This time around, 99 attack. I just got a slayer level. I'm still editing. Did this editing session's been long, I'm not gonna lie. I'm also very close to 120 combat, but... This is a lovely place, like I'm barely paying any attention and I'm just farming these wyverns currently on kill count number 250. Hey, 75 prayer, finally, that's a task. I think I need to recharge 75 prayer on one of the altars or something like that. That is awesome. It's trips like these, man, it's trips like these. Look at these prayer potions. I love it here, this is sick. Is this the other half? Is this the other half? Yeah, no. I, I'm not sure. It's either I have three of these ones, or that's the other one. I'm finally rendering the video, meaning that this is going to be the last uh, task of wyverns, and let me tell you, these are sick. I made so much money, I made over 30 prayer potions, I also made over 9 renar seeds, which will result in a ton of prayer potions as well. Honestly? I might come here every time I'm editing a video. Like, this is great. I enjoyed it. And I also got a bunch of Slayer XP. I finished 99 attack. Like, this was this was really, really enjoyable. The moment of truth. Is it the right one? Fuck. <laughs> it's not. The answer is it's not the right one. I need the other one. Alrighty then, we are back at Barrows. I forgot to take a tank helm, so maybe we get a tank helm in the chest. But I'm using a tentacle whip this time around. I'm probably gonna use about, let's say, a thousand charges, or maybe like more. I don't, I don't really know what else I would use the tent whip, anyways. And I can always get more whips as it is. So we're gonna see if we get lucky. I'm looking for Verax skirt or maybe full Guthan, uh, but anything really works. There it is, 90 defense, and that is a 250 point task because we reached our combat level 120. Why was that so hard for me to say? I don't know, basically with 120 combat, we got some points, working on 99 defense and working on the Barrows items. Another chest? Ah, oh, first duplicate. Okay, so I did about 6 or 7 chests and we got our first dupe, which is the same legs we're already wearing. Not too bad though, we'll take it, we're gonna keep going. I really wanna get a better tank legs, uh, and that's really what I need. Okay, right, I don't think it's worth using tent chargers on this. I've used about uh, 700, and I do not wanna use more, because I'll need this for Kirill, I'll need this for Bandos. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and go to the bank, take a normal whip out and continue on with Barrows, because we need to get some drops. Another chest. And there is a first, uh, like, weapon piece, a Varax Flail. Right, um, if I get full Varax, it could have some uses, perhaps. So, it's another unique, which is always good. For every unique we get, we are happy. That Those are the rules. 
But here we go, I have a good feeling about this one. And I was correct, boys. Karil's bow. I think I could maybe find some uses with this one. If I get a Karil Coif, we can look into maybe getting Amulet of the Damned. And then we can get some cool combinations with uh, the full Carols, perhaps, for our range training. Maybe there's some other uses, but that is not bad. We'll take, we'll take every unique we can get then. Alright, here we go. Good luck, us. Ooh, another duplicate. Chest number 56, and we get a Darox plate body. Alright, here we go. Another chest. Ooh, another duplicate. It's a good dupe, but it's another dupe. My, look at this inventory. My god. Right, let's keep going. Alright, chest number 61. Oh, not another one. <laughs> My god, I'm getting three of them. No. Oh, not the- what? No, third one! Ah, uh, we're, we're hitting the- we're hitting the back-to-back-to-back to back to back fucking duplicates now, man. Oh, it's rough. It's rough. It's- it's- ah, uh, it's- You know, I would be happy in the usual scenario, but I don't need three of those. I really don't. Okay, I have the feeling again. I have the feeling of an item. Here we go. <gasps> Yo! Ah, but- Wait, no, ah, it, yes, but no, you know, I have both, I have both already, ah, oh, shit, dude, I had the feeling though, but man, Pog, but weird, champ, that's what I'm saying, man, hey, 93 defense, a little bit more to go, <gasps> okay, hey, it's a unique, I do not know of a situation where I would utilize Arim yet, but maybe, maybe this is good. I don't know when I could use it, but it's the best magic piece I will ever get, so that's solid. Oh, <gasps> what? Uh, okay, what? <laughs> Hold up. Um, this is all right. Maybe if we get full Darok, and this is the fourth piece of Gotham skirt. So it's it, we'll take it, right? I mean, yeah. I don't know, man. I just want actual tank legs. Please. That's good. That's good. That's actually really good. That is really good. That is solid. That's a unique and an important one as well. And it's also, in my opinion, better than Torag Helm, as it gives me quite a bit of prayer bonus that I will utilize. So I'm gonna use it here. 97 for another Karel rope skirt. Holy moly. Right, good luck me. Chest number 100 for another Verax Helm. Wow. That's uh, that's it for now. I think we've done enough. I would love to fill my full inventory, but I'm absolutely tired of this. I've done it for exactly 3 hours and 53 minutes. Let's round it out to around 4 hours. And this is all the loot we received. We got... Well, 3... Well, basically, this is loot from 100, right? So, 3 Karil Tops, 3 Darug Plate Bodies, 2 Arim Skirts, 3, 4 Gotham Chain Skirts, 2 Bodies, you can see the rest, right? 2 Helms, 1 Darug X. It's pretty good. One thing missing would be uh, Tank Legs that are better than Gotham, and another thing missing would be, like, an Arim Top that we will definitely get in the future when we return to it, but... For now, I want to give Bandos a shot for a little bit, and then I need to train my crafting up. So we can make our region bracelet and our fury. I should have done this way sooner, but if you ask this man for the magic secretors, um, you you hook him up with 40k. He gives you them, and I should have done that so long ago. But it's all good. We have them now. Hey, we killed Bandos, guys. Let's go. So here, if I had Gotham, for example, I would just heal up so much. Oh, I got an HP level. 98 baby let's go one more to go first time ever doing bandos in what about i'd say three years and even then i didn't do a lot of it so i just did what 15 trip kill uh 15 trip 15 kill trip with this gear now if i were to upgrade it to a fury a region bracelet perhaps a better tank legs or if i had a full gothan I could probably pull very long Bandos trips, so that is very promising. Now, another thing I want to try out, now that I know that Bandos will be... You know, it will be somewhat challenging, but it will be doable. I want to try out how Zami feels. So, for the next little 
mini session. We're gonna take a task of greater demons and we'll see how Zami feels. I kind of don't, don't even want to pick this up, but I guess I will. Okay, that was that was fast. And that's 100 points. What the fuck? That was so quick. Okay, so future note for myself when I do Zami, it's I just need a lot more prayer potions. I only took two, I think, but I need a lot more because his spec drains your prayer. Outside of that, the boss is very simple, very nice. And I'm actually going to try to flick through it and see if that will work. Because if that works, then I am then I can maybe stay here even without prayer pods because my relic gives it back. If I can just flick through it, uh, this might result in me dying. Alright, so 16 kills, Zami trip, first time ever with a very scuffed inventory, we'll take it. So now I'm really, really motivated to continue on with the crafting grind. So I actually reached the Fury, I reached the Region Brace. It's gonna be slow, it's gonna take me a while, but I think it is going to be worth it. Now that I see that it's very easy to do these bosses. Obviously, Sara and Arma are gonna be much harder with my relics. But I'm sure we're gonna find our way to get all the drops there as well. And there it is, 80 crafting, meaning we can now create a glory when we finally get, uh, you know, the dragon stone. And also we can now boost for the region brace. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that and conclude the video for today. We tried a bit of bandos, we tried a bit of zami, we did a bunch of barrows. Let's finish it off with a solid region bracelet. Well, there we go. I'm done pretty much selling these Chaos Runes for now. I can buy an Onyx with 260k thanks to my Karamja diary i don't even know where to buy it from to be quite honest with you because i have never done that i've never had the reason to but i'm assuming it's from this guy um and that is correct 260k total we got it and that's 250 point task and this is basically going to be rich embrace i'm gonna need to do the whole shebang one more time but luckily basically barrows fully paid for that i did not buy a single rune anything like that and I still have basically 8k chaos extra, so very happy I did so much barrows today, it's basically a free onyx. And now I need to somehow find a way to train some magic to imbue it, but I think that's for another video. Uh, I could make a bracelet right now, I guess we can make it, sure, why not. Alright, here we go for the final time, many many hours later, the onyx is here, the crafting level is here, right after we eat the mushroom pie, and there it is, onyx bracelet is created, I'll work on my magic level so we can imbue it, but for now, this is it, this is what I had in store for you for today, for tomorrow, I hopefully will get some bandos drops, some zami drops, and perhaps more barrows, also maybe the Demonic Gorilla, there's so much content, I'm so excited because now it becomes interesting.